Go ahead. Hit the button. Okay. My name is Mark. I'm from Local to Local. I'm an entrepreneur, and I'm challenging the food system for more than 15 years now. And I truly believe that if you look at systems from a different way, turn them upside down, look at different ways of how to challenge them, there are answers that can, face, can help us face challenges ecological, economically, and from a social perspective. So that's what I've been doing with AMT, Local to Local, but also I'm active in several European consortia like Smart Chain and ERT Climate Kick, and there's a QR code on my screen. You can scan it and make connections to me with uh, LinkedIn, and you can see all my stories and adventures there. But um, let's start and let's cut out the middleman. I think the essence of transparency um, is getting to know each other, really have connection with each other, and having the facts in place. And, and from societal perspective and also in food, um, transparency is being managed by trademarks and not with real data. And there is no real human connection anymore between the farmer that makes our food, the guy that can create nature and help us create nature, and also he is the one that can enable society to face several challenges. So we, we are in for a game to cut out the middleman in logistics, in trade, but also and especially in data. And there are a lot of middlemen. Um, and uh, by looking at the food chain as it is now, this is the current system. Um, you have the farmer on one end of the food chain that has no grips of what he gets paid for his product. He has no control of his own market. As soon as the product leaves his farm, he becomes anonymous. And that's a big, a big problem. It's frustrating for farmers. For instance, in the Netherlands, after the Second World War, we had 400,000 farmers. At this moment, we have 50,000 farmers. And every year, 10%, 10% of farmers stop because they have no future. Another thing is the decline of biodiversity. If we really want to challenge climate change, we need to fix this. ASAP. We have only several harvests left to fix this. So help me. And in, by doing so, by challenging the food system and challenging climate change, we can keep people in the world, and even a growing world population, fed with good food. But we need to help our farmers. And we need to cut out all of these middlemen. And what I learned during um, all the presentations, that the, the change that you see in the screen our logistical parties, our buying corporations, our retailers, our et cetera, et cetera. But within these chains, there are banks. Every shekel in the chain, in between, there is a bank that creates not value. He takes value from the chain. And that's just something that's really important. Because not only the farmer has a problem, me as a consumer, I'm not aware what the effect is of my consumption of food. For instance, I take a... a an example in my own neighborhood, what would happen if I would eat meat from a supermarket and the next day they will cut down the forest next to my house? Believe me, <laughs> they are in trouble because my whole neighborhood will come up and stand up and start fighting. But now in the food chain that we have, we can pollute, we can destroy nature, and we don't even feel the consequences. It's a big, big problem. So my solution is this one. I think we can create a future for our farmers, increasing biodiversity, and also keep healthy, affordable food for all. So we believe, and I believe, and I've been challenging this for more than 15 years, that a food system serves all, can be created. And the last 15 years that I'm being active in, in facing this challenge, I've met so many people that are working on the same challenge, fighting, systems. A systemic problem requires a systemic solution. And I think the concept of local to local that basically fixes food transport, logistics, opening up the local market for our farmers is a solution that we have been built in the Netherlands for more than 10 years now. So local to local touched his first million uh, euro business last year and we're growing every month. And we're only active 
in one region, Utrecht, and opened up Amsterdam last year. We're opening up Flevoland, and we're exploring new regions to open up as well. And we're not choosing the model of the current system, where it's almost like a pyramid. If you grow, you grow like a climbing monkey up on a mountain, and in the end, you win the market and you dominate. Oh, I think that's the wrong model. I think the globalization movement that we have now is being countered by a local movement where farmers and consumers take grips of their own environment, get the real value of food up. And the real value of food is not appreciated for the farmer at this moment, where we do not have real grips of the real value of food. What if, what if we could figure out that healthy soil provides healthy food, and healthy food being eaten creates healthy humans? And it also can transform and change, change your environment. It's a really interesting concept. And with Local to Local, we've been challenging it, and we're starting to expand it. So we have a platform, Local to Local, with more than 450 farmers in the platform, with their products, with their story, and we sell the product, and we give him a face. He is not anonymous anymore. And we give him a fair share of the profit that we make. And in the end, we are testing how can we revaluate the, the, the real magic and the real value in the soil? How can we sell carbon? How can we sell the, the water storage capacity in the soil? How can we give people food that they can appreciate more than eating medicine? I think the, the, the blockchain of Unisat and the BSV is something magic that's new. Um, all over the world you see citizens and farmers looking for their own local market and get grips of their own business. And the blockchain that can store his data, his data from his soil. He doesn't own his data at this moment. All the technical companies steal his data. But he knows how he can increase biodiversity. He knows how, he, how much water he can store. And he knows what a fertile soil means. And he's a craftsman. I can talk, I can create business, I can sell everything, but I'm not able to produce food. It's unique. So using the ledger of BSV can help me facilitate farmers in collecting their data, but it can also connect with a local food chain in Amsterdam or in Stuttgart or in Dublin or in Dubai. What if we, in our own regional context, will be able to store our impact data and put it on top of the sales of our local product? What if a, an apple will be added, value will be added of water storage, and water is, I heard, the new oil of the world. It will be really scarce. And what if we can sequester carbon at the farm in his trees and sell it also and let us consumers pay for a better living environment? And my dream from local to local is having tested local to local in the region of Utrecht, implemented it in Amsterdam and Flevoland. And I think if local to local as a platform can be copied and implemented in other regions, we're starting just now in new regions. We're starting in Stuttgart and in Dublin with a cooperation with the University of Hohenheim and the University of Dublin. And we empower young, talented people in getting grips of their own environment, building a new good future by helping farmers. It's real, it's tangible, and it makes money. And there's something really beautiful that we all know and we all feel. Once we open up the value underneath our feet, magic will happen. And the Unisot partnership that Local to Local has will help and facilitate us open up this world of abundancy. So there's unbounded options and possibilities to scale up, to create new products based on added value and real human connection, because those are the two things that we are lacking. Human connection in a regional context that's about culture and fact-based evidence, We're sequestering carbon, storing water, and creating biodiversity, and by doing so, creating a product that gives you good food instead of feed. Feed is for animals. So hopefully, and I, I, I'm really, really excited of being here, you all can help me and help yourself creating a network of regions, activating local to local, all over Europe, all over the world, giving our farmers their fair share for their good work, 
and create a network of learning regions based on true value and human connection. And I know that this is here, it's now. Corona, COVID showed us that food systems all over the world, logistical systems are failing. It's so obvious that we need to go back to our own roots and our own region to reconnect and re-establish the value that we are willing to fight for. Not fight the system, I believe in full the system. It's much more joyful, it helps, it opens up hearts for everybody. And I think with the blockchain, local to local and UNISAT, we can create a network of learning regions. So my invitation to everybody here is, is look around. Do you know any farmers? Do you know people struggling, challenging the food system, get in contact with local to local? Maybe you would like to invest in the rollout of local to local. I want to create le not less than 100 regions all over Europe, all over the world that can co-create and create data together and store the information in our blockchain. So when a lesson of a farmer in Utrecht region is learned about how he can create fruits and vegetables, but also get energy with solar pellets from, from his, uh, from his uh, 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 farm, what can a, a guy from Dubai learn from that? Or what can a farmer in South America learn from him? Or what can he learn from ecosystems on the other end of the world? So we are opening um, a really big safe of value that is being ignored. And I think that, that we all can create it. And hopefully, and I'm sure that there are people in the room here that are enthusiastic and are willing to help us create our own future. Local to Local wants to be the Airbnb of local food by re-establishing the connection between the maker and the eater of food by creating communities, change of trust, and fact-based evidence. Change is here. I hope that you are in. And join and play the game with us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you for coming. And thank you for